kwa muda mrefu wafanya biashara na wamiliki wa makampuni mbalimbali hapa nchini wamekuwa wajitokeze katika kujisajili soko la hisa jambo ambalo limekuwa likitajwa uenda ni kutokuwa na elimu ya kutosha juu ya swala hilo kutokana na hali hiyo soko la hisa la Dar es Salaam limeamua kuanzisha programu maalum kwa kuwezesha wawekezaji wa ndani kukuza mitaji yao na kuwasaidia kushiriki katika soko hilo ambapo kwa sasa makampuni 15 wamejitokeza kushiriki mafunzo hayo leo katika soko hapa tumekuwa na uzinduzi wa program ambayo tunaita DSC Enterprise Acceleration Program ambayo ni program ya kimkakati kwa ajili ya kuwezesha kampuni zaidi kuweza kupata mitaji ambayo inapatikana katika uh, masoko ya fedha pamoja na mitaji ili kuendelea kukuza na kupanua shughuli zao. Kwa hiyo hii ni program ambayo tumeizindua leo na itakuwa ni program ya miezi kumi na mbili. Um, sehemu ya kwanza ya program itakuwa ni kwamba hawa ambao ni ni washiriki wa hip wa hii program watakuwa wanakuja hapa katika soko tutakuwa tukiwafundisha kuhusiana maeneo mbalimbali ya kuendesha biashara zao maeneo ya kumikakati ya biashara maeneo ya upatikanaji wa fedha maeneo ya kuwapata um, wateja kwa ajili ya bidhaa wanazozitengeneza na huduma wanazozitoa lakini vile vile maeneo ya utawala bora katika kuendesha biashara vile vile tutaangalia maeneo ya kushughulikia zile athari hasi yani risk management ambao katika yote haya waga ni maeneo ya kimsingi sana kwa ajili ya biashara ili kuweza kukua na kupanuka na kuongezeka ili ziweze kutengeneza ajira um, zaidi kwa watu wetu lakini vile vile ku, ku, kulipa mapato zaidi serikalini ili kusudi serikali vile vile iweze kuendesha shughuli zake ofisa mtendaji mkuu wa soko la hisa la Dar es Salaam DS hii Moremi Marwa anaelezea malengo ya kuanzisha programu hiyo kwa tutakuwa na miezi sita ya kwanza ambapo watakuwa nakuja um, katika utaratibu wa kidarasa kwa ajili ya kufundishwa lakini sehemu nyingine itakuwa ni miezi mitatu ambapo watakuwa nafundishwa kuhusiana na mambo tunaita coaching pamoja na mentorship ambao kimsingi ni kwamba wale ambao wamefanikiwa zaidi katika mambo haya ya kibiashara wanawasaidia hawa katika kuweza vile vile kujifunza kama wale wengine walichopitia ili waweze kukua zaidi hiyo inaitwa coaching pamoja na mentorship na baadaye miezi mitatu ya mwisho itakuwa ni kwa ajili ya kama networking hivi hawa ambao ni watakuwa wameshiriki katika hii program pamoja na wenzao ambao wameshiriki katika hii program kuweza kubadilishana mawazo lakini vile vile kuweza kuwa link na wale ambao sasa ni watoaji wa mitaji kwa maana ya mabenki kwa maana ya watoaji mitaji binafsi ambao wanaitwa private equity pamoja na venture capital fund lakini vile vile um, kwa kuweza kufanya IPO yani public initial public offering ili waweze vile vile kuorodheshwa katika soko baada ya kuwa wamepata mtaji kutoka kwenye jamii lakini ili uweza kufikia sasa hiyo hatua ya kuweza kupata mitaji either kutoka katika mabenki mitaji mikubwa zaidi au kuweza ku, ku, kuwapata watu wa mitaji binafsi au kuweza kuorodheshwa katika katika soko yote haya ni kwamba yanahitaji kampuni iwe imejiweka vizuri zaidi kwa hivyo hili ambacho tunalifanya ya kujenga uwezo au kuwafundisha ili kujiweka katika hali nzuri zaidi tunafikiri kwa kipindi cha muda wakati pamoja na muda mrefu itakuwa ni, ni tija sana katika masoko ya fedha na mitaji lakini vile vile kwa jamii yetu kwa maana ya kukuza uchumi wetu kwa hiyo hicho ndicho ambacho tumekuwa tukifanya katika siku ya leo. Marwa anafafanua zaidi utaratibu tokokuwa unatumika hadi pale watakapokuwa wamehitimu mafunzo yao. Sio kwamba watakao kwa wamekuja katika hii program kila mmoja lazima aorodheshwe katika soko. Hiyo sio hasa nia ya hii program. Hii program ni kujenga uwezo katika mambo ya jinsi gani biashara zinaweza kuendeshwa katika njia ambayo ni endelevu, lakini vile vile ni jinsi gani wanaweza kupata mitaji ya muda wakati na muda mrefu ili waweze kupanua na kukuza biashara zao na katika kupata hiyo mitaji sasa ambayo ni ya mdamu, wakati na muda mrefu ndio wanaweza kulitumia soko pamoja na vyanzo vingine vya fedha ambazo tunazo tulivyonavyo katika uchumi huu. Katika kuwapata washiriki wa programu hiyo kuna vigezo na masharti yaliyotumika na hapa Marwa anafafanua zaidi juu ya vigezo hivyo. Vigezo ni kwamba um, tuli tuliviweka vigezo na tukatangaza kwamba um, kuwe labda na kiasi fulani cha mtaji walicho nacho, kuwe na kiasi fulani cha mapato wanaoyapata lakini vile vile wao wameshaji register kwa maana wamepata leseni za biashara pamoja kama ni wako kwenye sekta fulani wao wamepata vile vile leseni ya hiyo sekta um, lakini vile vile mambo yao ya utawala bora yao yamewekwa katika hali ambayo ni nzuri ili sisi tu tuwaelekeze tu jinsi ya kuimprove kwenye pale walipo tayari kwa hivyo lazima kuwe na uzoefu wa biashara kwa kiasi fulani lazima kuwe na leseni pamoja na na orodheshwaji kule kule brera lakini vile vile lazima kuwe na mambo ya utawala bora pamoja na um, risk management hivyo ni vigezo vya awali ambavyo tumevitumia katika kuwapata hao ambao 
ni washiriki wa hii program lakini pia sio kwamba kila mmoja atake shiriki kupata elimu ni lazima orodheshwe katika soko la hisa na hapa anaelezea zaidi hizo kampuni ambazo ziko katika um, hilo daraja nyingi zinakuja kwenye lile um, soko la kukuza ujasiriamali ambao tunaita um, enterprise growth market lakini kama kuna zile ambazo zitakuwa zimefikia katika level ambayo ni ya juu kuliko ile ambayo zinatakiwa zije katika hili soko la kukuza ujasiriamali vile vile kama watakuwa wamekidhi vigezo kwa, tawo, kwa sababu kuna vigezo basi wana wanaruhusiwa atakuja kwenye ile tunaita main investment market ya, ya soko la hisa kwa hiyo itategemeana tu kwamba by the time wanamaliza na sisi tuki waki 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 anza huu mchakato wa kuja kuorodheshwa tutaangalia kwamba wana wanakidhi vigezo vya wapi ni kuja katika ili dirisha la kukuza ujasiriamali au ni kuja katika ile dirisha kuu la soko la hisa Afisa mtendaji mkuu wa mamlaka ya masoko ya mitaji na dhamana CMSA Nicodemus Mkama anaelezea faida ya mpango huo inoendana na falsafa ya kuwezesha makampuni kukuza mitaji yao. Biashara zao lakini vile vile kuweza kutekeleza miradi ya maendeleo. Hii mkakati uh, huu unaendana na na falsafa ya serikali ya awamu ya tano chini ya uongozi mahsusi wa mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Magufuli ya kuweza kuwezesha kampuni hasa kampuni za uh, zinazoibukia pamoja na za kazi za kuweza kutumia masoko ya mitaji na hivyo kuweza kupata kutekeleza miradi mbalimbali mbali ya, ya kimaendeleo. Eh makampuni haya yatakapotoa uh, hisa zao kwa uh, umma na kuweza kuorodhesha kwa kwenye soko la hisa itawawezesha wawekezaji mbalimbali kiwepo pamoja na wawekezaji wa kipato cha chini kuweza kuwekeza katika uh, sekta ya fedha na hivyo kuweza kuinua kipato chao kwa kufanya hivyo watakuwa wanatekeleza uh, falsafa ya uh, serikali ya awamu ya tano uh, pamoja uh, na mambo mengine ambayo inataka tuwe na uchumi wa kipato cha kati ifikapo 20 25 kwa hiyo leo hii ilikuwa ni siku muhimu sana katika maendeleo ya sekta ya masoko ya mitaji ambapo eh, tumezindua hii program maalum na mahsusi ya kuweza kuwezesha kampuni hizi ambazo zitaweza kupata fedha za kuweza kutekeleza ma miladi ya maendeleo. Na hapa anaelezea kampuni hizo zinapotoka zikiwemo za kilimo na madini huku akitaja matarajio yao. Kampuni hizi zinatoka katika sekta mbalimbali ikiwa ni eh, pamoja na sekta ya madini, sekta uh, ya fedha, sekta ya kilimo kwenye agri business na agri processing. Na sek, eh, mkakati huu unaanza kwa mwaka huu lakini utakuwa ni mkakati endelevu ambapo E, kampuni mbalimbali mbali sasa baada ya hii program ya kwanza kuanza mwaka huu e, zitaendelea mwaka kesho na mwaka ujao na hii tunatarajia kwamba itaongeza makampuni mengi zaidi yaweze kuorodheshwa katika soko letu la hisa licha jitiada hizo bado anaelezea changamoto zinazoikabili sekta hiyo jambo ambalo linasababisha wengi kushindwa kufikia malengo yao tunalichukulia hilo ni kama ni swala la uelewa kama tunavyoelewa eh, bado uelewa katika kwa ujumla kuhusiana na sekta ya fedha bado ni mdogo kwa hiyo hii ni mojawapo ya mikakati na juhudi ambazo tunajaribu kujenga uwezo na uelewa kwa wadau mbalimbali mbali kutoka sekta zote ili waweze kutumia uh, masoko ya mitaji. Kwa hiyo tunatoa lai kwa wananchi wote kwa jumla katika sekta tofauti tofauti waweze kutumia soko restu la hisa ili kuweza kupata fedha ya kutekeleza miradi ya kimaendeleo. Maru anaelezea wajibu wa soko la hisa na maeneo ambayo wanashughulikia katika kukuza mitaji katika makampuni mbalimbali. Mbali. The DSC Enterprise Acceleration Program is designed for two um, key objectives. Number one is to enhance the capacity of small and medium enterprises, especially in the area of access to capital, diverse and various forms of capital. But also to the, the second key objective is to enable you as companies to connect with your peer companies in this process but also to connect with um, different um, financiers, investors, and those suppliers of finance and capital. So these being banks, private equity, venture capital fund, 
um, but also um, the capital market uh, as a market, as the regulator, but also other stakeholders within the capital market space. Katika swala zima la kukuza mitaji, kuna changamoto kama anevolezea more mimarwa. However, um, the challenge is on the long-term sources of capital, and the supply of finance in that space is not as we expect as an economy, as a country, and as a society. Definitely, um, we need industrial banks, which we don't seem to have. We need some more development banks, even though now we have one or two development banks, but we need more of those. We need um, venture capitalists, we need um, private equity funds, but we also need a vibrant um, capital market that will be able to enable businesses to source their long-term sources of funding which is also relatively cheap compared to other sources of financing. And again, in my judgment, this is the area that we need some more emphasis and we need to do more. But this is on the supply side of financing and capital. On the demand side, which again now comes from you who demands capital, if one pays a close attention to some of the issues which are raised by the suppliers of funds, banks and um, others who supply funds and capital to businesses, the one thing that remains to be a fundamental um, challenge is the quality and the bankability of some of the projects that you have and the enterprises that you want to, to finance. So much as there are uh, banks with funds, much as we have the capital market um, here with the enterprise growth market, which is the segment to finance small and medium enterprises. Um, we have the main investment market, which is here to um, facilitate, um, again, raising capital from, from the market if you are a business that qualifies or a company that qualifies to raise funds and be listed to that um, segment. Yes, at the regional and the global level, we don't have short supply of venture capitalists and private equities. They are there um, if one needs capital. But again, the issue um, for them is basically the um, bankability of our projects and um, our enterprises, the way we package them to be able to um, access funds from financiers and investors. But also there is a major issue of good governance and how um, we can run our business sustainably over a long period of time from one generation to the next generation. So the aim of this particular program, the DSC Enterprise Acceleration Program, is in trying to bridge that gap, the knowledge gap between those who supplies funds and those who needs these funds um, to the extent that we can in order to unlock the potential that we have as a market, as a country, in our process of development, growth, and um, enabling enterprises to be able to expand and the multiplier effect that comes out of businesses to being expanded. Um, jobs creation, more revenue to the government, economic growth for our country um, over a long term. So this program will have main components as um, indicated in, the, in various communication that we have had with you who are participants to this program. Afisa mtindaji mkuu wa mamlaka ya masoko ya mitaji na dhamana CMSA Nicodemus Mkama anaelezea matarajio yake baada kupatikana makampuni 15 na kushiriki katika programu hiyo. I expect that this is not going to be a, a classroom thing. Ultimately, as you have informed me, we have participants 15 participants from different companies. I argue all participants that ultimately these 15 companies that have sent their participants here, ultimately they issue shares to the public and list on the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange. So I, I argue you all to make sure that this is the ultimate objective in the medium and long term. Term. So ultimately, we should be having 15 companies for the first cohort that are starting uh, today. It is a fact that the impact of this program, if embraced, will, uh, if embraced by all the key stakeholders, 
are especially participants to the program uh, will go to a long way to motivate further and catalyze the financing and investment activities in the economy as well as enhancing growth of enterprises and businesses in our economy. So I think if this first program is going to be run successfully, this is going to be a catalyst to the next sessions uh, for bringing more participants and ultimately more companies are being listed on the stock exchange. Uh, this initiative is in line with the key objective of the fifth phase government under the able leadership of His Excellency President Dr. John Joseph Pombe Magufuri, where resource mobilization uh, for industrialization projects and investment activities is really very paramount. So having this kind of initiatives, I think this is going to facilitate implementation of the strategies under the fifth phase government. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, the Capital Market and Securities Authority conducted a study to determine uh, the appropriate stock market structure. Uh, that is going to be appropriate for our market. Uh, the study recommended that the stock market at the stock exchange be categorized into two. One is the main investment market segment, which caters for established companies with the track records. But secondly, the recommendation was that we have an alternative investment market, which is the enterprise growth market segment. So currently we have two markets segments. Uh, to facilitate this, uh, the CMSA amended uh, the regulations uh, so that startups, small and medium-sized companies should be able to access the market. And the on the part of the stock exchange, they amended the rules uh, to facilitate uh, listing and trading of the uh, companies on the enterprise growth market. Now, these regulatory changes aimed at facilitating capital raising for growth-oriented SMEs in various areas such as agribusiness, agro-processing, mining, tourism, manufacturing, as well as banking and financial services. Uh, the enterprise growth market was launched in 2013 and uh, with the objective of addressing the challenges that were previously being faced by SMEs by not accept, uh, accessing the capital market on the listing conditions. Anaelezea hali ilivyo tangu mwaka 2013 hadi sasa makampuni ambayo yalijitokeza na kuweza kuorodheshwa katika soko hilo. So the introduction of EGM on the DSC uh, since 2013 has attained some achievements. Currently we have five companies that are listed on the stock exchange that they have done IPO and they are listed on the stock exchange and uh, they have a market cap of uh, 110 billion but this company they've been able to have a trickle down effect because they have facilitated raising deposits of around 500 billion but they've also facilitated uh, issuing loans to the public of around 380 billion. So you could clearly see with a capital of around 110 billion, but they've been able to facilitate mobilization of deposits, but as well as issuing loans to the members of the public. So these are the 
trickle-down effect that has been brought about the enterprise growth market. But uh, in addition to that, the retail investor base has increased. Uh, we have retail investors of around 270 who have invested in the company that are listed on the enterprise growth market. So these are some of the uh, key success factors on the enterprise growth market. Now, despite these achievements attained by the EGMs, there is still a need for various stakeholders coming up with a strategy that will facilitate capacity building for SMEs, uh, owners, and managers that will ultimately address the financing challenges. And among these uh, strategies is this program that is we are going to launch today. So this is a necessary strategy that has come to the light moment. So I congratulate again all the key stakeholders under uh, the coordination of the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange for this initiative because it complements the initiative that are being done uh, to make more vibrance on the enterprise growth market. So this initiative, as uh, highlighted earlier, is expected to enhance the knowledge so that businesses and companies can take advantage of the structures and institutions that the country has put in place to enable businesses access to diverse sources of finance. So further to this initiative by the Stock Exchange, uh, the knowledge can also be enhanced. Uh, and now I argue the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange together with our partners under the program to make sure that there are continuous professional engagements such as institutions like the Stock Exchange, LDMs, Nomads, and others reaching out more widely to businesses with the potential to list. We have these 15 who have been enrolled on the program. So if others can be reached out so that they become part of the database, so that when it comes to next year, perhaps we don't have to wait well in advance, we should be having those on the list ready to start the program by January well in advance, and if the number can be enhanced. And secondly, I would argue to have frequent reaching out uh, by capital raising advisors, that is licensed investment advisors, lawyers, accountants, and other professionals to businesses uh, and companies' owners. Uh, we have a number of professionals who are involved in the structuring of transaction in the capital markets. So if those also can be involved and become part of the program. And also continued education, including uh, repeating successful training courses of entrepreneurs and business managers. So I think those are some of the initiatives if also they can be taken on board. I therefore encourage all CMSA licensees to play their active role in this area. Kwa upande wao wa shiriki wa mafunzo hayo, wanaelezea matarajio yao mara baada programu hiyo maalum itakapomalizika. Hii sisi kama wadau ambao tuko katika grupu la eh, SMEs tumepokea vizuri ya mafunzo na kama ilivyozungumzwa awali na lotangulia ambao ni facilitator wa hii program kwamba kuna gap kubwa <coughs> kati ya financial sectors na wa small scale and medium enterprises. Kwa hiyo mafunzo haya yatatuleta pamoja kwanza kwa kutuongezea ujuzi, kutuongezea ufahamu na kutambua challenges zetu na kuweza kuunganisha ili gap na kuweza kufanya kazi pamoja na kuleta maendeleo ya nchi. Sisi tumekuja kuhudhuria mafunzo haya ya Uh, enterprise Development Program kutokana na dhamira yetu hapo baadaye 
ya kufanya marekebisho kwenye kampuni yetu ili iweze kuwa investor ready kwa maana ya kupata wa wakezaji au eh, equity investor lakini vile vile kuweza hatimaye kujisajili kwenye Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange ili uweze kuwa kuwa mvutia wakezaji au kuwa, kuweze kufikia vigezo vya kusajiliwa kwenye Stock Exchange inabidi uwe na mifumo staiki ya usimamizi na utawala wa kampuni kwa hiyo mafunzo haya yanaenda kutuweka katika utayari huo